This is a video about how to make a hay steamer. These are two steamers that I've made installed in the livery yard. Up there is the steam generator which is just a wallpaper stripper unit. This is a view looking down into them. There, these ones have been used so they're full of hay. But you, oh, you can see how it works there. You'll see more in a minute. That's the thermometer. That's an ordinary coffee steamer thermometer. And this is the starting point. It's an ordinary uh, wheelie bin, 360 litre. What I found with these was that you couldn't get up to temperature with uh, a bin that big unless you put some insulation in it. And what I used is this 6mm EVA foam which is sold for uh, lining stables. And to cut it to fit, I made a couple of templates. And here I am marking up the, uh, the foam. This cuts fairly easily with a, an ordinary pair of scissors. You can cut it with a Stanley knife but a scissors is fine. There's quite a lot of trial and error in getting the, uh, the thing to fit and you still end up with a certain amount of error as you'll see in a little while. But there I am fitting it into, into the container to give it a trial. You can see how I fitted over a feature on the inside and now I'm marking it up for uh, cutting off the excess length or width if you like. Cutting it off, cutting it as before with the scissors. Now to fit it more closely I'm using a couple of uh, F clamps, trigger clamps. That lets me pull the uh, foam back into the uh, back corners. I'd marked it up with the centre line and the centre line is running down the centre of the back. Now I'm looking at how much I need to cut off at the, uh, at the front where I'm standing. Again marking it up you can just mark this up with chalk. And checking how it fits and trimming a bit more off. And that's showing it with a rough fit in position. It's difficult to get a perfect fit. The next stage is to stick it. I'm using a flooring adhesive. It's an impact adhesive. Um, so in theory you spray it, uh, let it dry for five minutes and then um, put it into, into exactly the right position. Now in my case you, you can't fit it exactly so I'm not leave, giving it as long to dry but you, nevertheless it does uh, seem to have worked okay. Cleaning out the inside of the bin to get rid of dust and rubbish. I'm spraying just one face at the moment as the initial fit. I've never used these sprays before so it was a bit of a learning exercise. This is actually the second one I made. So we've got it in place and now I'm uh, pressing it down firmly on the uh, glued face and then filling in the remaining faces one side at a time. You spray both, both the foam and the uh, bin. I'm 
rolling it again to use my weight to press it press it down firmly try and press it down into the corners into the curved corners now doing the second side now a view inside after it's stuck and you can see I've ended up with a gap once I pushed it all into the corners but we can fill that gap later. Now for the to insulate the bottom and also the top I'm using a thicker foam it's again it's an EVA foam if you work around if you're used to stables then you'll be used to this sort of stuff this is 18 mil thick it's not particularly expensive and uh, in my case I already had off cuts anyway so I'm cutting two pits to one to fit in the base and one to fit in the on the lid this is the best way I found is the best way to trim corners round corners nicely might not be an orthodox use of a disc sander but it's easier than uh, trying to cut it by hand now I'm pushing the thing inside it doesn't have to be terribly accurately finished but and there we see one you can see I've got corners at one at one end but square edges at the other and now I'm making the steam distributor distributor which is just made out of ordinary plumbing copper 15 mil copper I'm using end feed fittings because they're the cheapest um, this is the fitting I'm using to attach the hose I'm using an ordinary garden hose type connector so that I can have a clip on clip off arrangement with the hose I actually soldered this one onto the uh, onto the copper pipe. That's the uh, fitting that goes onto the steam hose. From this, coming from the steamer, and this shows how they clip together. I'm using metal rather than plastic fittings that are a bit more durable and stand the temperature. I'm not sure how long the O-ring will last, but you can replace the O-ring. That's my little sketch diagram for my steam distributor. It's showing how I'll have need a number of T's and a number of elbows. We cut the copper pipe to length again according to my little uh, little drawing. It's an ordinary tube cutter, which if you do any plumbing you'll be familiar with. You get a bit of a burr on the end. In this case, you don't have to worry all that much about fin finishing it off nicely, but I'm taking the, the worst of the burr off with the tool. And there I'm starting to build the, the distributor and I'm just checking that it's the right uh, sort of dimensions. Now there I've built the whole thing but not soldered it yet. Again, I'm putting it in place to make sure it looks right. And this is where I'm, where the hose feed is going to come out. Cutting that with a hole, with a hole saw or a conical hole saw in this case. And I've got to measure up my last bit of copper. And again that's just showing it offered up before soldering to check that everything looks right. Now this is the uh, completed unit after soldering. I'm sorry I'm not going to demonstrate the soldering. You'll see that the corner pieces are angled inwards to direct the steam in. The central one has a 10 mil reducer on it um, but in truth the details of that are not of how you f finish that are not crucial I don't think. That's again just checking that it's the right height until I've soldered the last piece in. And here I'm gluing a piece, a filler piece of insulation in to cover the bit where I got it wrong. 
to fit the steam distributor in. I'm using ordinary um, pipe fittings, but ones which clip shut so that they lock the pipe in place. They're fitted to the uh, bin with um, penny washers and also nylock nuts. This is the top fitting. And now I'm going to put a cover in made out of mesh over the steam distributor. I'm not sure whether you really need that, but it seemed right for me. It's just an odd bit of gash steam mesh I had, and I'm just trimming it to size with an angle grinder. Shouldn't really use them single with, with just one hand, but if you're familiar with them and you're only cutting a light section, it's okay. Eye protection is a good idea on that. You'll see also I'm wearing gloves all the time, but then I do wear that type of glove for most um, DIY jobs. There's the cover in place. It's just it's just pushed in place. It can come out if you do need to clean the thing subsequently. Uh, this is what I where how I get the steam. It's an ordinary Erlex wallpaper stripper. It's a 2.3 kilowatt one, which gives you a fairly good flow of steam runs for about an hour on a full tank and that's a timer which will cut the thing off after an hour to help you stop boiling dry and again now I'm showing my systems installed you'll see I've got two of them there um, you can see the insulation fitted in the lid as well I didn't bother to film making the uh, the lid fitting but again it's fitted in place with penny washers and uh, nylock nuts <laughs> 